Okay, um, we want to make this quick. Uh, apologies for the quality. I just want to explain how this Mod Engine 2 thing works. So instead of me reinstalling it and show, showing you what I did, I just want you to notice that we are in the C drive, and I put Mod Engine 2 in a, in a custom folder called ME2. I took the parent folder for the whole thing out of the zip and just dropped it in here, right? And this, this is what it looks like. That is your game right there, not your Steam version, okay? When you install a mod, refer to the instructions, but it'll usually go in the mod folder, right? This, this thing, Mod Engine 2, knows where Elden Ring is. The only other step is if you want to disable anti-cheat and then go online, which you shouldn't, um, you would do that uh, in the main game folder, right? So it's pretty simple. And for the situation I was in, I had to throw a mod folder into there and then this into the main folder and that was per the instructions another tidbit is if you have a customizable lua file you can just open with notepad right right click open with notepad so to to for for example Installing Sekiro Deflect, the only thing you need to put in your Elden Ring game folder is the Viso module, which is in another folder inside the zip. And I don't know why he had separate downloads for that, right? Because if you go into Sekiro Deflection and you just have a look, there's the fucking visual module, right? I, I, he had no reason to have to upload them separately. They don't even work separately, I don't think. But it's pretty clear, right? There's that mod folder. All you do is you go back to your ME2 folder and you just play, match the names, and throw it right in there, right? And then for proof of concept, it's quite literally this fucking easy wow wow I don't know why every other person that I have watched make a tutorial on this has done nothing but be fucking confusing. Hopefully that helps.